While the snow is almost gone from the San Francisco peaks, the snow melt flooding is still being felt in and around Flagstaff. Colleen Socorro shares how one neighborhood is waiting on a solution following weeks of trouble getting in and out of their homes. Flagstaff's winter brought much needed moisture. We experienced a pretty spectacular winter. But come spring. I guess those yellow markers are what? three and a half, four feet tall. That snow now melting had to go somewhere. That's the only way in and out. Somewhere being partly down the Rio de Flag through Jennifer Kodalik's Forestdale neighborhood. She's lived here for a couple decades now. The amount of snow melt flooding that was happening on the Harold Ranch Road was beyond what we had ever experienced. Kodalik says it was weeks of the Rio de Flag flooding the road in and out. It is definitely not possible. Got to the point where on at least four or five occasions, that we could not drive the car through. Among other workarounds at times, finding the only way to get to her house. There's four service roads that come in and out and you can drive there and then hike around. And that crossing was inundated. Christopher Tressler, Coconino County Public Works supervisor, says his team did come in and add some material to help the crossing and has plans for before monsoon season 2024 to make some more improvements. It's a difficult situation in that we don't want to invest millions of dollars because it would take several million dollars in that area for, for a crossing that would not be inundated with flood water on any given uh, year. Kodalik says, though, it's more than about the crossing itself. Building a bridge would address the river situation, so that would be terrific, of course, but it doesn't answer the bigger problem, which is another access in and out besides the Harold Ranch Road. Kodalik believes the extension of JW Powell Boulevard that Flagstaff residents approved partial funding for in 2018 could have helped. This needs to be an improvement because we're kind of stranded out here. The city of Flagstaff declined 12 News's interview requests on the extension and flooding. A spokesperson saying in an emailed statement the city is working on potential solutions for another crossing, but said nothing is definitive at this time. While an update on the extension is scheduled for a city council work session Tuesday, Kodalik is worried about safety beyond this winter. We've been waiting a really long time and, you know, I just dread to hear uh, beyond vehicle damage, which has already happened to multiple people that I know. I would hate to hear of anything more deadly. In Flagstaff, Colleen Sakura, 12 News. Colleen, thanks. You might remember this. A Flagstaff Unified School bus on Slayton Ranch Road almost swallowed in March after the road gave way from all the snow melt. That area is now being repaired and improved by Coconino County and is on track to reopen by the middle of July. It's a crossing that, uh, frankly, was undersized, but the, the crossing is going to be much more robust and substantial than previous uh, than what was previously installed. It's not cheap, though. The improvements run close to a million dollars. A public meeting is expected in the coming weeks to update residents.